name is Kenya Clark and this is Hype Talk. Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a little bit different from what I usually do on YouTube. This is the first rendition of Hype Talk. So let's just hop right into it. The first thing we're going to talk about today is these new crazy spinners. I don't get it. I work with kids and one day we were just in the gym and one of the kids had this thing and she was spinning it on her finger. And I'm like, what is that? And she's like, it's a fidget something or whatever she said. And she was just spinning it. She was spinning it and I just had to try it. And I'm like, I don't get it. What, what is this? And she's like, you can balance it on your finger. Oh, don't try that at home. Balance it on your finger, you can spin it. You can balance it on your forehead. Let's see. Wait, oh, okay, wait, no, let's not do that. All right, let's see. Okay, sorry if you can see up my nose. It's really not cute. So I was out shopping today after work and I was walking up the block and I saw three kids coming out of the corner store with little square boxes. And something in my head just told me like, they have crazy spinners. And the guy was like, these things are so crazy. Whoever made these must be a millionaire. So I was like, Oh my gosh, it's a hype, it's a craze. I must get one. So I went to the corner store and I bought myself one to see what the hype was about. So this is the packaging. Um, it says, crazy spinner, great for stress relief, work, school, and home. I personally don't get it, but it's kind of fun. Just be on the lookout for these crazy things. Every kid is gonna have one in the next couple weeks. It's gonna be like the hoverboards and if anybody remembers from the early 2000s, we had those jelly bracelets. That was a craze, but it was not a positive thing. But this is a positive, harmless toy that kids can just fidget with and play with. And I don't know, it's like the kids are collecting these now, so they're gonna have a lot of them. Um, yeah, fidget spinner or crazy spinner, whatever you wanna call it. So the next thing we're gonna talk about is this little lip gloss that I bought from a company called Glossier. Now if you're a girl and you've been on Instagram lately and you like makeup, I'm pretty sure you've seen the ads for this lip gloss. I'm actually gonna take it out and show you because you probably don't know what I'm talking about until you see it. But it's just like a little tiny pink cute gloss. And I just had to buy it, like I'm all about the hype. Oh. Like the marketing technique sucked me in. So I went ahead and purchased it. And it's about, I think it was like $14, but your first purchase you get like 20% off or something. So I got this and I got a sample. So I already love lip gloss. I've been on a clear lip gloss phase for so long. So when I saw this, I was like, oh my gosh, I have to have it. It looks pink in the packaging, but I think, I'm not sure, but I think that's just the packaging that's pink. But the gloss actually might be a little pink. And I'm actually going to put some on now so you guys can see how it looks. Whoa, do you see that gloss? That is, that is some incredible shine. This applicator brush is really flexible and super soft. The coverage of the gloss is really nice and thick, but it's not sticky at all. Definitely worth the hype. So the third thing we're gonna talk about is this little silicone makeup applicator. I don't wanna call it a sponge, but most people are calling it the silly sponge, Scylla sponge, you know, like silicone and sponge. But what do you think when you hear sponge? You think absorbent. This product is made to not absorb your makeup. I don't know, it kinda looks like a breast implant or something of that nature. So if it doesn't work for my makeup, I can definitely use it for that. When this first came out, everybody was trying to get it. So, so many companies have like duped it. But this is what it looks like. It's just a silicone piece of whatever. It's bendable. And it gets wrinkly when you squish it. Let's just see how it works. So right now I'm gonna use my foundation, which is the Maybelline Fit Me in 310 Sun Beige. And I don't know how I should do this. Like, should I pour this onto here? 
little drop. Being that this isn't absorbing my makeup, I think you don't need that much. So right now this is a lot of foundation, so I'm just gonna work it. I'm not sure if I should go in a circular motion. Or, uh. Maybe I should glide, but it definitely helps your foundation go a long way. Maybe if I dab, let's see if I dab. So it's actually not bad, but I definitely would need to use this a few times before I can master it. <laughs> I think something good about this would be that you can directly wipe it off and cleanse it. Um, you can wash it with soap and water. And you can use alcohol and a paper towel and just wipe it clean. As opposed to the beauty blender, you can't directly clean the sponge inside. You can dry this off. You can't dry off a beauty blender. So I guess that's one of the perks. Only thing is I can't see how this would work good for my nose area. Or just the places on my face that aren't flat. But other than that, it's a pretty sustainable product. But I will stick to my beauty blender. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions about the products that we talked about today, please let me know in my comments. And thanks for joining me for Hype Talk. Bye.